Well, welcome back to Spencer FYI, and we're going to talk about the Fields and Gardens Department at the Clay County Fair for 2021. So I have uh, a couple of the superintendents along with me today. Welcome. Thanks for coming in. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Jerry, let's start with, uh, you've been working in this department for a number of years. Yes. So tell me a little bit about, me, a little bit of your history there with the, with the department. My, my history? Uh, I started in the department, what we called the Ag Department years ago, when we were up above in the old uh, uh, industri industrial building. And I started just helping. And uh, the uh, big thing that I remember, the hard thing, was we used to carry all the big pumpkins upstairs and uh, uh, then put them in front of each uh, station or stall. And uh, uh, people like to go up there, come up, I should say, especially the kids and they'd run around from one to the other to see which one was the heaviest. Mm -hmm. um, and then I just sl slowly, well, we had Wayne Peterson, he quit. And so then I moved up to assistant superintendent with, with uh, Glenn Chennault, and then pretty soon then I, Glenn stepped down as that, and I became the superintendent. And so that's kind of, my history, and it's been about 22, 20, about 23, four years that I've been involved in uh, fields and gardens, is what we call it now. So, what about you, Mike? What's your history then with the department? Well, I think I, we discussed about seven or eight years. I've kind of agreed to help out. Uh, these large pumpkins, they can create a situation when it comes to unloading them. And so uh, several hernias later, we just went to a mechanical means of <laughs> unloading them if they show up. So we keep a small tractor and loader on hand. So one comes in, it's, I know some years in the past, the, the fairgrounds does have forklift capabilities, but sometimes they're clear across the fairgrounds and two hours away. So, you know, we've kind of, I guess, uh, streamlined that part of it anyway. So fields and gardens kind of pretty much explains the department, but what kind of things can folks enter in? Almost everything they can grow in a garden. <laughs> um, and of course, well, we mentioned the big pumpkins and we have a class for watermelon and uh, and that, you know, and then all the, all the garden vegetables from almost A to Z, really. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, we end with zucchini and, <clears throat> and squash and, and of course the big, the big pumpkins and, and uh, uh, that's kind of that side. And Mike, you know, what, what do you take care of on your side? Well, there's the tallest stalk of corn contest and those show up and so we tie them up to the outside of the building because there's not room inside and measure, measure the height and all that. So, and I guess another thing that comes to mind is the uh, bring in soybean plants and count the pods on them for the most pods on a soybean plant. And that's, so these are kind of turned into a game with people, I think in a way, I mean, I talk to them, a soybean plant, a lot of them don't come out of the field. They grow it in the corner of the garden and they chop the top off a couple, three times to make it bush out, so they get a whole lot of pods on there. And so yeah, <laughs> it's just kind of the way it is, but it makes it interesting. Yeah. Turned it more into a garden plant than a field plant. Right? Well, in some cases, yeah, yeah. I would say so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's good. And I do know that like uh, you have certain the people need to check the book and make sure that they're exhibiting the correct amount, right? Some of your classes have three, some of your classes have multiples. Correct. The premium book uh, is available online at Clay County Fair. If they check there, you're right, Karen. Some classes are, depending on what they are, you need two, like the pie pumpkins and you know the the little ones. Mm -hmm. They only need two, but uh, it can vary between 
two, one, two up to, let's see, I believe if I'm remembering right, the garden beans, string beans, they need a, do a dozen to uh, uh, enter. And that's very important that they check the book and make sure that they have the correct number of, uh, for their exhibit. So when does entry, how, how does entry work this year? How can folks get entered? Well, entry dates are Wednesday, September 8th, from 5 to 8 in the evening. Uh, we never used to have uh, entries on Wednesday, but we started that because that way uh, families could come with their school-aged children if they wanted to enter. And if it was on, <clears throat> like, Friday, they were in school. So it's... Uh, turned out that fairly well. So that's Wednesday. On Thursday is from 9 to 5 is the uh, entry times. Okay. Do the folks need to pre-register? No, they can if they want to, but that's not required. Okay. And as <laughs> Mike will attest to, uh, the where class, or fields and gardens is open to everybody. Uh, you don't, in other words, out of county, out of state, uh, <laughs> wherever. In age range, anybody, all yeah. ages? Yep, all ages. Now, in, if they look in the premium book, there are age brackets for some of the different uh, class, I exhibits. Uh, like the uh, 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 pumpkins that are decorated. Uh, it's not really fair to have a, an eight-year-old competing <laughs> against somebody that's almost sen a senior citizen. So there are age brackets there to make it uh, more fair to the younger fair exhibitors. Right. If folks do want to pre-register, that's online? Yes. Okay. So just go to the, the FAIR website and all that yep. information is there. Okay. Is there a date that has to be, that has to be done by? Uh, the 29th of August. You talked about the decorated pumpkins, but I also know you do the yard people. Is that another? Yeah, people bring in what, what, scarecrows and all, use their imagination, <laughs> yes, get pretty creative of what they put together to in order to create some, something like that, so, mm -hmm. yeah. And that, that's one class where there are age uh, brackets mm -hmm. for, the, for those scarecrows and yard people. All right. And I, um, I'm sure you have judges lined up and everybody's ready to go. What kind of, when does your judging take place? And the judging takes place on Friday, which is the... 10th. 10th. Yeah. Thank you, Mike. The 10th before the, before the fair. Yeah. We, uh, yeah, to, the, I think that's, didn't used to do that. It used to judge on Saturday morning when the fair was on and that could kind of turn into a zoo almost. And the, people wanted to see stuff, but they're trying to judge too. So yeah, that was a few years ago, as I recall, it went to the Friday judging. So I think that, that helped a lot yes. with that. Yeah, and then you can get everything all looking nice and pretty before yeah. the fair opens up on Saturday morning, right? Right, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Uh, let's see. Well, I'm sure everybody is is a, hopefully will know, but we are located in the in the building that's just east of the Iowa Chop Shop. Uh, for a new exhibitor, that might help them find where we're located. Is that where they come as well to enter? Yes. And that mm -hmm. should be fairly easy. You can just drive right up outside that door there and yes. to deliver mm -hmm. all your product. And BN's entry is before the fair and stuff, why the uh, exhibitors are not uh, restricted to where they, can, where they can drive. So that makes it easier for them. Exactly, yep, great. And so then you want folks to stop in, obviously, into the building, check out everybody's displays. And mm -hmm. um, if folks have any questions or anything or concerns, contact you or just check that book. Is that probably well, the best? Yeah. Call me, my number's in the book, uh, or Mike, or the, our, our other superintendent is Doug Connard. He was out of town today and couldn't be with us. Uh, one, one other thing that's 
a change. Um, that is, we're not going to be hanging ribbons on every placing. Um, they're going to use the little <laughs> stickers um, for the placing. And then when people, exhibitors check out on the last Sunday, if they want a ribbon, they have, we'll have a table there with the ribbons that uh, they'll bring their uh, exhibitor tag up and we'll give them the appropriate uh, ribbon. Because we have a lot of exhibitors that they've done it enough that they really don't, <laughs> uh, they don't care whether they get a ribbon or not. So as uh, you're aware, and Mike, that uh, with things getting a little tight and the fair, we're, we're trying to save money uh, every way that's possible. And folks will still be able to see that sticker and know what, what place everybody got? And... Yes. All right. So you just want folks to keep water in that garden, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's, well. that's the... <laughs> Big thing is, you know, well, we have with the heat and the and the oh. lack of moisture. Well, what kind what kind of exhibits are we going to have? And and well, as Mike would say, the the one that we're really well not concerned about that makes you wonder is our the field corn that uh, yeah. people bring in, and and that's going to be interesting to see what that looks like. And I do know that Jeremy that they handed out giant pumpkin seeds earlier this oh, year too, right? Yes, they did. So hopefully we'll have quite a few of those. Or? Yeah, hopefully we'll have a good assortment of large pumpkins. Cool. I know it's always kind of fun to go check that out. Sure. Yes. To see mm. Like you said, I hope you need a forklift, right, to get some of those in? Well, yeah. <laughs> Either <laughs> half a football team or one or the other. Mm -hmm. There you go. All right. Well, Thanks for coming in, and we look forward to seeing you guys at the 2021 Clay County Fair. Well, thank you, Karen. It's coming it's, up. <laughs> it's coming. Let's hope everything falls into place. That's right. That's right. So registration, if they want to do it, is online. Otherwise, they can just show up that Wednesday or Thursday before the fair. Yes. All right. Good deal. Thank you so much. You're welcome. We'll be back with more right after this.